Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb in uh, North Thailand. And this is my uh, uh, iPad here. And uh, you may think, well, it not, doesn't look particularly uh, uh, exciting, but what it's doing is on here, I attend a webinar by uh, on the Illuminate platform every, uh, or many Saturday nights. And... Uh, it's, it's 11.30 Saturday night. I should I should be doing better things in my life. And uh, I attend a Classroom 2.0 uh, webinar. They're brilliant one-hour sessions um, late on a Saturday for me, uh, if you're in the States, early Saturday morning. And it's on the webinar platform Illuminate, which now is actually called Blackboard Collaborate. And here it is. This is the... Oh, I have a I have my web browser behind there. Let me just get rid of. Let me just minimise that. Minimise my web browser, and uh, this is it. And if I turn the volume up, the volume's on my little mixing desk over here. Let me turn it. Up. And he had his own experiences that he'll share with you about the project. And, and he uh, himself as a professional. I can do things like now. This is. Uh, the latest version of uh, I mustn't call it Illuminate Blackboard Collaborate, and uh, you can move things around quite easily by just dragging, getting hold of them here, and moving them around the screen. And this is happening on my iPad. Now I know that uh, Blackboard have been saying you can't do it on an iPad. I'm actually cheating, and I'll t I'll tell you what the cheat is in a moment. So you can see there. And I can move that back up there. And chat's going on down here. It's probably out of focus with my little uh, flip camera. You can't see it very well. Uh, and this is the whiteboard area here. There. Now I am I am cheating. This is actually my iPad is mirroring what is on my desktop. And in fact, if I if I go up, you'll see there's my desktop screen back there. So it's mirroring what's on my desktop. Um, what would be interesting is if it would mirror to multiple iPads, I'm not sure. But let me show you how I'm doing it, or let me try to anyway, because uh, it's been a nice little experiment for me, uh, looking at ways of wirelessly connecting iPads to other devices, and it's brilliant. It really is. There's a whole load of opportunities coming up, especially with iOS 5 when that comes out and allows full mirroring. mirroring. So let me just move this out of the way. In fact... I should uh, stop this mirroring so I can show you uh, um, how to uh, and how do I stop the mirroring? I wonder. Mm. Now let me let me see. I can see the keyboards here. Remember, it's, this is mirroring what's on my desktop. So my desktop uh, display is wirelessly coming to my iPad, and I just want to show you which app I'm using. But I'm not sure how to get out of this. How do I get out of this? What does that do? Delete F12, Shift, Control. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way of... There's something on the screen which allows me to, to get back to my desktop. But uh, iPad users will know that uh, whenever you get stuck, you press the uh, the button here on the side. And here we go. And uh, actually, my uh, um, Illuminate session on my desktop has gone back to full screen. It actually shrunk down a bit. You can see these are all the apps that I'm playing with and evaluating to do with wireless connecting the iPad with other devices. Um, actually, it is brilliant. It's it's good. Educators going to love this, uh, especially as I say when iOS five iOS five comes out and allows full mirroring. Uh, and I have an Apple TV, and I think that's a whole new story as well. But just to let you know what I used. Um, to do the mirroring for that particular um, item with uh, uh, Classroom 2.0, which is actually still going on, I think. Yeah, that uh, the kids started around the time that I showed up there. And uh, basically, uh, it was out of that. It is. That's on my desktop. Right, it's come back down to here. Just to show you which app I used, there are a number of apps I could have used here. Um, but the one I was do using just now was called Splash Top. Yeah, and there's no way you're going to see that. It's going to be all fuzzy. It's called Splash Top. And uh, actually, you can see I, I have a folder here which is called Remote. And Splash Top was the one I was using, Splash Top H, 
D and if I click on there you'll hopefully see what happens, oh, I bet that's a bit bright you'll hopefully see what happens it's identifying different computers that are on the same wireless network and this is my desktop and when I go to that um, it pulls in the signal from my desktop so it pulls in um, Blackboard Collaborate. Now Splashtop used to only be uh, able to connect machines like my 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 uh, iPad here with my desktop over there or in fact over here I've got a a, 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 a MacBook Pro um, but um, there's now an option in there to connect across the internet remotely so you don't have to be on the same network I haven't played with that though so let me uh, close this how do I close this cancel <laughs> whenever in doubt press the button on the side so I thought that was rather interesting um, one way to make it look like um, Blackboard Collaborate is uh, running on your iPad in fact it's not running on your iPad but it looks pretty good and the response time was great so but Blackboard Collaborate boys and girls the guys at the top the designers um, please uh, think about having an iPad app eventually have fun I hope you found that interesting